Peace, 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 love and light to everyone out there. This is another section of Core Real Thoughts, another extension of the Mother's House podcast. And I am Corey. What is going on, family? <clears throat> so, I know it's been a minute since I did a video. And um, last video, I think I was, I did it touched on um, Jay Z 444 album. So, we're going to touch on it again because you just dropped the visuals for the song Moonlight. The song Moonlight is a very strong, very great song. I'm also going to touch on a new anime, black anime, black anime alert. Y'all should definitely check out Children of Ether and actually, and also go to the Teflon Funk uh, YouTube channel. Hit that subscribe button. Give them the support that they need so they can push this great artwork, this great creative um, work by black men black women that is just amazing y'all definitely should support um but um let's get right into the video so <clears throat> in moonlight is uh, you know the la la land even when we win going gonna lose i'm probably messing up the lyrics but y'all get what i'm saying y'all heard the song so the video has some of the biggest new and up and coming black actors and actresses that's like killing the game right now. You got Tessa Thomas, you got Lakeith Stanfield, you got um, Lil Rel, um, you got Carmichael, you got Tiffany Haddish, you got the beautiful Issa Rae on it. So <clears throat> Jay Z did the visuals for it and they started off with the little sitcom, uh, seemed like it's supposed to be the remake of the Friends. Now, everybody know Friends, it was one of the Hallmark staples of sitcoms, far as in white media and, 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 and European culture, and a lot of black folks like Friends too. So you can't, we can't just cop it up. So, oh, that's just some white people shit. Like black folks like Friends too. So, but it's recognizable because a lot of people know Friends. Everybody remember that damn couch on the front, in the front, right in front of the damn fountain. So everybody remember that. So they start off with the the imagery of of them doing the sitcom, going through the motions, you know, the sitcom opened up, you know, with the little corny, you know, but yet interesting hashtag funny lines and all these different things, punch lines. And it cuts and goes right into the intro of the show, just like regularly, you look like you're watching a sitcom. Oh, they about to make a sitcom of Friends, black version of Friends, right? And in the middle of it, they kind of cut, <clears throat> Um, in the middle of, of the next opening scene where, you know, the actual show supposedly starts. And it, it, they filming it like very live on the set. So once they come from the set, he, you see Carmichael goes and um, he goes and, you know, Issa Rae gave you come and give him a kiss and all this good stuff. It, it looks good. It looks like it'll be an interesting show. A lot of black, a lot of people would like to check out. So, because he go talk to with one of his homeboys, one of his friends that he invited to the set, and he try to get his honest opinion about the show. And his friends like, "Yo, this is garbage. This is you just trying to make another black version of Friends. <laughs> like, you just trying to make a black version of Seinfeld. Like, like this is garbage. Like, black people ain't good enough." And then he asked him, "So, what the heck you doing?" And he like, "Hey, I'm doing the Pirates of the Caribbean. I'm playing a parrot." You know what I'm saying? So, it's also this this detail that. The, the roles that black people find themselves in within entertainment is merely just for, you know, the amusement and entertainment of other folks. It's never really to honor and guard, you know, really look at the talent and the, the, the creative space of what black folks have. Um, you know, he goes back on the set and if, you know, after having that conversation with his friend, it's kind of threw him off. So you see him, see Carmichael's kind of thrown off and they going back through the scene, everybody acting like the, the show's back on, they doing the scenes over again, scene, continuing on with the scene, and then Carmichael just drifts away from the conversation, drift away from the whole scene, and he see Issa, Issa Rae, she tell him, be quiet. What does that symbolize? What does that symbolize? She's telling him to be quiet, because instead of trying to disrupt those who are already sleeping, 
you're waking up. So let me show you a door to go through. So as you grab him, took him to a doorway, take him down the hallway, and told him, point it to him, look, that's where you need to go. He goes out that dark hallway, and he's in the forest, and he's just walking down. And Jay-Z song, you know, I'm stuck in La La Land, even when we win, we gon' lose. We got the same fucking watch. We ain't gonna know who is who. So they go down the hallway, and um, he goes through the hallway, and he's looking, you know, distraught, because he's like, his eyes really waking up, like, damn, this industry is really not set up to, to enrich and empower my, me or my people. It's, it's to keep us submissive and keep us subservient and not have ownership of anything. So he goes, sits down, and then once the song ends, the whole the cutscene goes back to, like, it's just like how the album, during the end of the album, they have the cutscene of when La La Land won over Moonlight. And it was like the Oscar uh, award winner goes to La La Land when Moonlight was the better movie in that category so it, it's, 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 it's very freaking interesting that they use this and they played it out so well the imagery is so well thought of and we all can take something from this like when you wake up <clears throat> you are distraught you are in a trip you feel like yo am I tripping like what the hell like none of this shit I'm everybody doing that I I'm, was part of this bullshit. I don't want to be part of this shit no more. Why the fuck? What the fuck going on? And the fact it took a black woman, he's a right character, to be like, yeah, I see you. I see you waking up. Let me show you where you need to go. Let me show you what's really happening out here. And he gonna sit on the bench and he hear, you know, that all your efforts, regardless as a black man, a black woman, all your efforts to try to get recognized in a in a white establishment, in a white hierarchy of things, you you will never reap that benefit of what they could deem successful so why don't we create our own you know what i'm saying why don't we create our own that's why i love what Issa ray has created that's why i like what carmichael has created he created his own show Issa ray created her own show but even then it still plagues on am i really creating my own show or i'm perpetuating what i have already seen that white people do like in the line, when he walking on the grass, you know, he, Jay-Z says, um, 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 you know, uh, the, 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 so we, 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 we cut, you know, so they cut, cut their grasses. We think they grasses, they think, we think their grasses are greener, but that's because they cut their grasses and mow. They rake their lawn and cut their grasses and even more, you know? <clears throat> well, we don't even have some of the resources that they have. Basically saying, they, we don't have the resources that they have to be able to do what the fuck they do. So, you know, we, we get stuck in a limbo. We stuck in a la-la land. You know what I'm saying? We stuck in la-la land. So there's so many layers within this video. I definitely suggest everyone to check it out. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. I love the symbolism. I love this artwork that some of my some of the biggest hip hop artists and favorite hip hop artists is pushing out. I love what um, Kendrick did with Element and even what he did with Loyalty, even though that's the weakest one out of all the, the, the videos that he did. Um, I think I like Loyalty more than I like um, DNA, but <laughs> regardless of all of everybody pushing out some dope artwork and stuff, mind boggling, mind explosion, things that will really have you really like appreciate where your headspace is going in this conscious world and, and, and people are waking up. So it's, it's a beautiful thing that, you know, Daisy was actually to get this image out. And, you know, I really rock with it. I really rock with it. But tell me what y'all think, man. Hit that comment, that, comment down below. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. I got more videos to come up. We got some more things coming up with Mother's House Podcast. We got some dope things coming with Mother House Podcast. We got other affiliated uh, Mother House Podcast affiliates, uh, podcasters popping up. So y'all definitely check us out, man. We, we doing the damn thing. We starting to build and trying to grow. And also give y'all give y'all some dope content, dope things to think about, dope things to analyze. And, and, and let's just chop it up. Tell me what y'all think about the video. Definitely check out Children of Ether on Crunchyroll. Definitely support LaShawn Thomas, who created that. Support the brother. It's really great, dope artwork. I'll do another um, a review on that uh, shortly, probably within the week. And also, um, definitely check out Teflon Funk. Definitely go over there and check them out. 
go on their YouTube channel, check them out on Instagram, Teflon Funk. You know, check them out, subscribe to their channel, give them support, help them with their Kickstarter, make sure people know that you really want to see this project come to life. And till then, until next time, peace, love, and light to the world. I holla at you. One love.